Hello, welcome to Paul's Take. This is my take, an open box of these Celestron binoculars for viewing outer space and mainly the moon. That's my purpose. Let's, take Let's look inside. Within the box is a box, which is about the same size as the first box. And there it is in its bubble wrap. I can see it through the bubble wrap. How exciting is this? Skymaster. What a nice looking box. Celestron Skymaster 15 by 70 binoculars. Oh, look at that box. Look how pretty the picture. Too much reflection. Multi-coded optics. High index. BAK4 prism. Perfect for long distance viewing. Long eye relief, ideal for eyeglass wearers. Mmm, I wear glasses. Diopter adjustment. Here. Tripod adapter included. Cool, soft carrying case. Limited lifetime warranty. Nice. And 15 time magnification. Water resistant. Hmm, I was wondering how many magnification that is. 15 times, that's not a lot. I'm not sure. I guess we'll have to put them on and find out. Here's some more information. So we've got the magnification 15 times, objective lens diameter 70 millimeters, lens coating multi-coated, angular field of view 4.4%, linear field of view 231 uh, foot, 77 meters at 1,000 yards. Don't know what any of this means. Closed focus 43 foot, eye relief 18 millimeters, Exit pupil 4.7 millimeters, prism BAK4, water resistant. And that's packed, nice. That is gone, and now we got more packaging. Ooh. It's in the bag. Ooh, nice bag. So a strong nylon bag. Pretty big size so far. Let's look inside. Ooh. I hear the aliens freaking out already. They're gonna be exposed, I'm sure. There it is. The last coating, the last bag. It is pretty darn big, let me tell you. Those would definitely be the biggest binoculars I've ever used in my life. Yeah, look what popped out. I think this is the tripod holder, maybe? Yeah. That's probably the tripod holder. Don't know how it works, but that looks like that's where the tripod goes. And this must mount somewhere on the binoculars. Let's find out where. Alrighty, there it is. Pull that out. A little cover. What in the world? That's not supposed to happen. I'm sure of it. Huh. What? Is it broken? Oh, I'd be mad if it's broken. That. Some big binoculars. And there's my massive hand. That's big. But this might be an issue. I see some glue in there or something. Huh. That sucks. Let's see if I can fix that. Check out the optics on these lenses. Or the, or the lenses on this thing. They're huge and totally shiny. Now... I was worried about the quality of this thing. Now, the, especially after seeing the eyepiece popped out. I took it outside, and it's a, it's a cloudy, rainy day, a little drizzle. And so I wasn't able to look at any, look at the moon or anything. But I was able to like, you know, just kind of look down the street. I was shockingly surprised at how clear and crystal these things look it actually is I have some 
a cheap pair of uh, binoculars that just don't compare, not even close. The, the image was amazing, amazingly clear. So I can't wait to look at the moon with these things on. So first impression, um, it's, I mean, it's a solid build. It's uh, I just like the, just the lenses though, so clear, so amazingly clear and sharp. So it's gonna get me going for sure. So I'm impressed. I'm not impressed with the eyepiece that popped off. I think I could fix that myself somehow. Um, I could return them and get another pair, but I don't like to return stuff. And it seems like overall, I got a good set. And I just gotta maybe put some crazy glue or something, or figure something out. Maybe I'll call them up or something and figure out how I can fix it myself. But other than that, even with the piece that's loose, it was super clear. So I'm very happy. Can't wait for it to be sunny out, or not sunny, to be a clear night with the moon out. Because I want to watch and check out if there's any lights on the moon. That's the plan. And to attach the tripod adapter, all I'm going to do is unscrew this piece right here that comes right out. Voila. And then that screws on to this piece here. And I'll show you what it's hooked up. I only have one hand, so let's show you how it works. And that's how it looks like that. And this piece goes onto the tripod. And then you can just look right out, hands free. So check it out. So the piece that was loose, which was this side here, I think I made a little adjustment being the expert that I am on binocular um, mechanics, I grabbed my duct tape and I put a little bit of duct tape right around the outside of it and popped it in place. Gave it enough tension so it still moves, it's not stuck anywhere, and it's not popping out. I could pull it pretty, probably pretty easy enough, but as you can see, it's, it's kind of secure. It's secure enough. So, I will leave it at that as long as there's no further problems. It says I have a lifetime warranty anyway, so I can ask, always send it in to uh, Celestron to get it fixed or something. Alrighty, so that is the binoculars. With a little help from the duct tape, it seems like it's a great set of binoculars. Very clear. I think it'll do the job just fine. Thanks for watching. Ball stick.